someone that we're very proud of and someone who you know can say that Ottawa has been a huge part of their lives is uh, skier Ryan Semple. Great to have you here on the show. Two-time Olympian uh, on the World Cup circuit for quite some time. This is a, a tough transition for an athlete when they finally say and publicly admit that it's time to retire. That was an announcement that you've recently made. How are you feeling about the whole decision? Uh, I feel good about it actually. It's, um, it's different wanting to do it and then starting to talk about it and actually go through the steps. So um, it's different. I'm excited. Uh, I had a great career um, and I'm looking forward to what's coming up next. There's, there's so much that happens within the life of a skier. It started really early when your parents were kind of in the Laurentians and Mont Blanc and uh, at Tromla that you were able to ski at. Take us through the process of kind of getting to that World Cup circuit, getting to the Olympic Games as to what it was like for you as an athlete. Uh, well, there's, it's a bumpy road. There's lots of ups and downs, injuries for myself. Um, I grew up skiing in Quebec, Quebec ski team, and then I've been on the national team for 10 years. So um, it's difficult to qualify because Canada can only uh, send four athletes in each event. So I had to compete against my friends, against uh, everyone, uh, you know. Um, You're growing up training together, racing together all through your youth, and it's tough, I guess, when you get to that point where it's cutthroat. Exactly. Um, but, you know, it's the sport we live in. It's, they become brothers, essentially, because we live and travel together all year. Um, so when it comes down to it, it's really, it's an individual sport, but as a team, that's how we, we succeed and grow. So it's, it's interesting. There's been, uh, I think that you talked about how close you get, because a lot of it, the World Cup, we're not seeing a lot of you guys. You guys are over in Europe, and, and there's a lot of competition. What, for you, was your favorite destination or, you know, favorite circuit to be able to compete on? Um, I would have to say Kitzbühel, Austria, 100%. That's basically the, the biggest event um, for us every year. That's where we draw the most fans. That's where everyone who is very passionate about skiing goes. Um, there's a lot of history there, so uh, being able to compete there is... It's very rewarding. It's also the most difficult track and uh, the most entertaining to watch. So difficult to race, but fun to watch. Exactly. Uh, there was an injury uh, back in January. I think this was kind of the lead up into the decision to finally say yes. it's time to retire. Yes, well, uh, I had a bad crash um, this January in Switzerland in downhill. I had a concussion, I hurt my neck. And basically, um, the symptoms got worse progressively. As we know, it's difficult to really uh, point a finger on issues with concussions these days. So it's something I've sort of dealt with, but not really, not to this extent. And I wasn't really prepared to um, go back to skiing until I was 100% healthy. And it's difficult to make a decision when you're in that state of mind as well. So I feel good now. And while well, this is the decision I'm making, and I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. Do you see, where do you see yourself now? I mean, there's uh, the whole open possibility. Well, I'm usually not around at this time of year, right. so I'm watching the leaves, uh, the leaves fall off the trees, and uh, I'm able to spend some more time with my family and friends right now, which is uh, something I haven't really had the opportunity to do, catch up on lost time. Uh, I recently bought a house here in Ottawa last year, so I'm a homeowner, and that's exciting. And, and Ottawa's home base for you. Exactly. Uh, also, a, a great connection with local companies. You're actually taking part in an event tonight uh, down at Tommy and Lefebvre. That's right, that's right. So uh, doors open at 6.30, and basically it's a fundraiser for um, aspiring athletes. Dustin Cook, who is a local uh, athlete on the Canadian ski team, as well as Michaela Tommy. And they need our help. I, uh, I needed much help um, for myself in order to raise money and um, pay for a lot of things that... Um, well, it is an amateur sport, so mm -hmm. we need sponsors, and um, it's a great event. This is the second time we'll be having it. Uh, it'll be fun. Myself and Patrick Biggs is also retiring, so that'll be a bit of a celebration. It, it was. We had him on not, not long ago talking about the same thing and, and how difficult it is. So it's nice to know that you guys are still pretty tight, uh, are still able to do things, so people can get involved. Uh, Tommy and Lefebvre later on tonight to help support uh, other local skiers, and you guys are going to be there, so you say exactly. it's fun. Well, there'll be other Olympians as well actually coming into town. Eric Gay, who's uh, the current world champion. Um, so we'll all be uh, pretty relaxed and uh, there for conversation. Awesome. That's happening at tonight at the, the great location down on Bank Street at Tommy and Lefebvre. Good luck with everything. Thank you very much. a great much. future ahead of you. Uh,